Dating back to April of 2015, the Benchy Boat is a standard print that almost every single 3D printer enthusiast has printed numerous times. Creative Tools, the designer of this model, created it as a benchmark test for printers, and each detail of the print is in itself a quality test. The model has over 65,000 likes and ranks as the number one most popular thing on Thingiverse. This model even has its own website that I found out about while researching for this video. This model has so many remixes that there are remixes of the remixes. In the search engine of Thingiverse, you can even just type the letter B and the Benchy boat will come up. Sometimes Thingiverse even does this weird glitch where you type in a model or search for something that's completely not related to the Benchy at all, and then the Benchy just comes up as the first thing. That's how popular it is. Many people outside the 3D printing community don't understand why a plastic boat is so important to makers. However, if you look closely at the clever modeling of the boat, you'll see that it hits every main quality test for your printer that you can think of. The quality tests that this model achieves range from overhangs to bridging to writing text. The text on the bottom of the boat shows if your printer is leveled correctly and has good adhesion to the bed. The bow of the boat tests the overhang capabilities of your printer. If it prints with no problem, then your printer can handle up to a 40% horizontal overhang. If there's any sign of ringing or ghosting in your print, then you're probably experiencing vibrations in your printer, and they can be fixed by simple hacks. I'll link some videos in the description below so you can figure out how to fix it. The text on the back of the boat is essentially a test for how perfect your layers are on your print. If you can read the tiny text, then you have excellent quality. Anything less than that needs improvement. The front window tests the bridging capabilities of your printer. If the top of the window sags, then you may need a cooling fan, and if it sags with a cooling fan, then you may need to print a bit slower. The two holes at the front of the print and the one in the rear as the window measure both the incline and decline overhangs and overall capabilities of printing curves in the vertical plane of your printer. The smokestack of the Benchy is difficult for printers to print, especially when printing at high speeds because the molten plastic doesn't have enough time to cool before the next layer is tried to be printed on top. If your chimney doesn't look perfect, then you may need more cooling or lower printing speed. Most slicers actually slow down the printing speed when it gets to this part of the model, so you won't have to worry about it. Aside from all those tests, you can measure the actual dimensions of the printed boat with calipers to see how dimensionally accurate and dialed in your printer is. The Benchy website has all the dimensions on it and a link will be in the description so you can compare your print to what it's supposed to be. The site has recommendations for your print but they're obviously not mandatory and you can tinker around with them. It suggests 10% infill at 50 millimeters a second, however people have gone far past this and have even started a thing called the speedboat race where they're racing to finish their benches as fast as they can and the current record is 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Not all printers are created equal so if your prints look trash even using someone else's suggested settings, it's just Maybe your printer needs its own settings and once you get those dialed in, you can have amazing looking prints. While there are other capable models to test your printer, I feel like this one is the best because you can even give it as a gift and the, res the recipient will never know that you were using it actually just to test your print. 